Yo, people, what's up? This is Malcolm Extreme again. Like I said, I'm wearing the same clothes, all right? I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm doing all these videos in bulk right now, all right? Because I got a list. I'm going down the list. Don't think I'm just wearing the same shit. <laughs> Even if I did wear the same shit. You know, it works for Charlie. You got the white tee on in every single video, so whatever. But yeah, I'm doing some more of that wholesome content uh, reaction videos uh, today. And uh, this one's called Family Adopts Elderly Neighbor as Honorary Grandpa. So this should be heartwarming, a heartwarming story. I hope you guys enjoy. Call him just a neighbor. Paul Callahan is an honorary member of his family. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. No, yeah, it's it's good when people like actually get together and like form form a, a actual community and a family with each other. No, sometimes it's it's hard. You know, it's hard being like out there alone, especially with this guy. He's like a widower. It reminds me of one we were <laughs> brushing the kids' hair. Paul lives across the street from Shireen Carvalho. That's nice. His wife died not too long. You know, I wonder, I, I kind of wonder if he has uh, kids of his own. Like, where are his kids? No, I hear, I hear things like so often where like, you know, there's elderly people out there. I've actually seen it too, where there's like elderly people out you there. You see Shireen's family, has and been... like they have kids, but they never, they never go see their their parents. It's kind of sad. Adopted the 82 year old. He comes to every single cook off that we throw. Um, even if we're not having any spirit from the gathering, he comes over. When Shireen, when Shireen and her husband That's Wilson, nice. Wilson first moved into the area, they weren't sure, sure what to expect. Yeah, and you know, there. You know, I don't like to be like pessimistic about every single thing, but sometimes you gotta have, you have to have that degree of caution when it comes to people. That's good. Many chances to. Talk to people. Don't take a chance. You may miss a friend that we would have had. That's nice. <laughs> He's not even phased by the crying, the bickering, the mommy, the. Now, when you're old like that, you really don't care. <laughs> hey, ew. Yeah, you I lose your teeth. I see you know, it's really nice how like involved he is with the the kids and stuff. No, he doesn't give off that Joe Biden vibes where he's just creepy as fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if I get a chance, I'll go to the store. Come on. Bring them back. Bring back. Even when her kids try to return the favor by doing something nice for him, like making sure he crosses the street to get back home safely, well, he returns the favor. Well, you want them back across the street? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Yes, they <laughs> they I really are. Like, I mean, you know what I'm just to see the love that we both share between the wall. And I, and I love that my children are able to witness that from such a young age. That's really good, you know. No, I, kids, they really need like that positive, positive yeah, role man. model, that like, like, positive affection, you, like, positive everything uh, around them. Like sometimes, you know, it takes a community to raise. Raise a kid. <laughs> but again, you have to be like, you have to be like careful of who you let into your, your free kid. Like, I don't want to be pessimistic. Like I said before, you have to be careful of who you let around your kids. You no, know, sometimes you got to just, you just vet people as closely as possible. Just be as cautious as possible, you know, but it's good because like sometimes when you don't have like family around, you have to pull people around you like to, to kind of build like a makeshift family of your own. You know, if you're if you're out there and you know your family's like far away, you have sometimes it's it's up to you to kind of like bring the positive positivity to other people and make a family, you know? 
That's how it is sometimes. Yeah, that was very wholesome. Uh, there's good people out there. Like, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy these wholesome news stories. Uh, we don't have enough wholesome news stories. Things are gonna... I, I'm gonna be doing wholesome content. I'm gonna be doing gaming trailer reactions. I'm gonna be doing, you know, other reactions. I probably would not be touching music, but as far as these videos go, uh, these videos go. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, like the video, uh, comment in the comment section about your uh, makeshift family or just being a part of the lives of other people. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.